Lane Stadium, New Orleans. The Green Wave opens the season against the tough Boston College. The Eagles take an early 7-0 lead. Tulane is on the BC 35 quarter. Quarterback Steve Foley takes off with a football. He picks up a key block from Tom Fortner and goes all the way for the touch. Drives on its next possession. And Foley finds Frank Anderson wide open in the end zone. And the Green Wave is on top 14-7. Late in the second quarter, Foley is on the loose again. This time he goes 51 yards for another two-line touchdown. The phenomenal Foley does it again directing his blockers on another long run. This one is called back because of a penalty, but Foley has done enough. And Tulane wins the opener 21 to 16. Virginia Military comes in for game two. Foley gets things rolling in the first quarter. He picks up key blocks from Steve Wade. Malin Harrell, watch number 71, cut his man down. And Foley goes 72 yards to score. On Tulane's next possession, Foley drops back to pass. He fires a strike to Jaime Garza in the end zone for six more points. Second quarter now. Terry Looney at quarterback. He hands to Ricky Abair, and Ricky goes five yards to pay dirt, and it's 21 to nothing. Foley in action again. He drops back. It's a long bomb to Frank Anderson. Frank calls it in, and it's a 50-yard touchdown play for the Green Wave. quarterback he pitches out to tailback Eddie Price who raises 48 yards to the VMI 27. Three plays later on the first play of the final quarter Price covers the final 11 yards for the touchdown. Quarterback Buddy Gilbert pitches to tailback Randy Catherine, who outruns three key depth defenders for the final score of the night. And Tulane racks up an impressive 42 to nothing victory. The University of Pittsburgh campus provides a setting for Tulane's first road test. Pittsburgh Tony Dorsett gained 265 yards a week earlier, but here the Tulane defense stops him cold on a fourth down and goal at the one. Tulane on the attack. Foley at quarterback. It's Frank Anderson with a 41-yard touchdown pass. A beautiful catch by Frank. Anderson, injured for the season later in this game, has caught his third touchdown pass in three games. Here's one of the season's wackiest plays. Tulane's Howard McNeil punting. The ball hits a Pittsburgh defender on the foot. And Darwin Willie finally comes up with the elusive pigskin for Tulane. Falgu comes in to try a 39-yard field goal. It's good, and Tulane leads 10 to nothing at halftime. Fourth quarter, Tulane on top, 10 to six in a tight ball game. Terry Looney at quarterback. He uncorks a long one to Mike Foley. Mike outsteps the last defender and goes all the way to the end zone for the clinching touchdown. Ricky Hebert adds another TD on this five-yard run. And 
and Tulane topples the Fiesta Bound Panthers 24 to 6. Wallace Wade Stadium, Durham, North Carolina. Tulane on the Duke three. Steve Foley gets the first score of the game with a sweep for six points. Second quarter, Terry Looney drops back and he hits Jaime Garza for a touchdown to put Tulane ahead 14 to nothing. But Duke battles back to go ahead 17 to 14. And Tulane needs this 37 yard field goal by David Falgu to tie up the ball game in the fourth quarter. Less than two minutes left. Tulane takes over on its own 44. Foley hits his brother Mike with a pass that covers 29 yards and Tulane is driving. Fighting the clock. Foley hits Foley again for nine yards. Less than a minute left. Foley rolls again. And again hits his brother Mike with a great catch before going out of bounds at the three. Tulane's in field goal range, but with nine seconds left, the Foley to Foley magic works again this time for the touchdown and the green wave chalks up a dramatic 24 to 17 victory. The win runs Tulane's record to four and oh. Back home in Tulane Stadium, where a strong North Carolina team provides the opposition. Here's the opening kickoff. North Carolina kicking, freshman Martin Mitchell gathers it in for Tulane. And he takes off on a brilliant 42-yard return. Mitchell's run ignites a touchdown drive. Steve Foley hits Jaime Garza for 13 yards. With the ball on a North Carolina six, Doug Bynum powers his way into the end zone. And Tulane has an early 7 to nothing lead. Ellender watches from the sidelines as fullback Lyndon Lassiter breaks free up the middle and races 51 yards to set up a field goal. Third quarter, Tulane's defense takes over as Mark Oliver mistreats the ball carrier. Nathan Bell pounces on the loose ball. Greenway quickly takes advantage of the break as Bynum, behind the blocking of Steve Wade, goes five yards to make it 16 to nothing. Here's Steve Foley again. Steve breaking free here on a 34-yard run. This drive did not produce any points, but the offense had given the defense enough cushion. Watch number 79, the tackle on this side. Big Charles Hall deflects a pass and then catches the ball flat on his back. The second interception of that type he has made this season. Fourth quarter, the Tar Heels drive to the two-lane five. But the ever-present Mark Oliveri comes up with another big play. And the shutout is preserved, a 16 to nothing victory. Georgia Tech rolls into Tulane Stadium to settle the battle for the independent supremacy in the South before a big crowd of 66,000 people. Price breaks tackles on a 24-yard gallop early in the contest. Tech musters a drive, but on third down, All-American Charlie Hall sacks the quarterback for a big loss. still scoreless with Tech punting from its own 28. The snap sails high over the kicker's head and goes all the way out of the end zone for a safety. Tulane drives to the Tech one and Eddie Price cartwheels over the top for the score.
Here's another look at that play as Tulane goes ahead nine to nothing. Second quarter after Tech has scored to make it nine to seven. Foley rolling out, turns loose a long one. And Brother Mike is on the receiving end for a 39-yard play. That set up a 25-yard field goal by David Falgo to give Tulane a 12-7 halftime lead. Georgia Tech goes on top 14-12 in the third quarter, and Tulane comes right back. Bill Huber runs for 15 yards to the Tech 19. On the next play, Eddie Price takes it all away, and Tulane is back in the lead 20 to 14. Fourth quarter now. Ricky Abair charges up the middle for 28 big yards. Later in that same drive, Terry Looney takes a snap, drops back. Does a little bit of scrambling and pointing. And Looney finally finds Tom Fortner open. Tom takes it in for 19 yards. Valdu comes in to try a clutch 42-yard field goal. It's good. makes it six in a row with a 23-14 triumph. Lexington, Kentucky, where Tulane takes on a band of Kentucky Wildcats fired up before a big homecoming crowd. The day belongs to Kentucky, but Tulane followers get a chance to cheer as Steve Truding goes in for a touchdown. But runs like this one by the sensational Sonny Collins lead the way to a stunning upset. Kentucky wins it 34 to 7. Back in Tulane Stadium, it's homecoming, and the Green Wave takes on Navy. The opening kickoff. Mitchell working his magic again. He picks up great blocking down in deep. Breaks it loose, and Martin Mitchell races 91 yards all the way to the Navy nine-yard line. Three plays later, Foley looks to the corner of the end zone and finds Jaime Garza wide open. And Tulane is quickly on top, seven to nothing. Navy's first possession. Rusty Chambers destroys the ball carrier and Mike Truax comes up with the football. Foley goes right to work. And on the first play, he rolls and hits Mike Foley for a 35-yard scoring strike. Navy threatens in the second quarter, but Tulane makes a goal line stand as Charles Klein leads the charge, stopping Mike Yeager, short of Bader. Navy is knocking on the door again, but Mark Oliveri, number 65, slams it. 